Hello everyone and welcome to episode 4 of this Hail Zone Town save and it's just the one game today and it is going to be against FC Halifax in the FA Cup 4th round qualifying and as you can see from their form they've been on an excellent run whereas we've been inconsistent so let's have a look at what you've missed while you've been away so after our defeat to Altrincham we played Willard, or Willand even and we drew 1-1 not particularly a great performance, but yeah, it wasn't great. So then we played Dorchester and we beat them 2-0. So we went a little bit back up to what we expect from ourselves. But yeah, Willard, to, oh, not Willard Halifax today, sorry. And yeah, this it's going to be a tough game, I reckon. A very tough game. So let's have a look at the squad we're going to go with. So the lineup for today's game is pretty straightforward, to be honest. We're going to have Olawunme in goal, Kessler right back. Quaza and Zhao at centre back with Whittingham at left back. We're going to be playing Woolerton at right mid. In oh, are we going to be playing Ince? He's been on terrible form. I'm actually going to put Brookwell in because he's been playing it a little bit better. Uh, mm, do let's talk about the bench actually. The bench looks a bit higgledy piggledy at the moment. So yeah, those guys will be okay. Send me a covers. Robson. Mm, I want to keep Robson on the bench, really. I'm going to take Cornez off. And I'm going to put Ints onto the bench there. Just because I'd like to have that extra bit of cover in case Brookwell gets yellow carded or he starts having a mare. We've got Ints we can bring on. So, yeah, we've got Woodleton right. Brookwell and Carvalho in the middle. With Williams on the left. We're going to have Hall and Bradbury up top. And hopefully, those guys will score the goals, which will get us through to the FA Cup first round proper. So yeah, let's go straight into the game. Actually, another quick change. I need to put him onto wing-back attack, because we want him to be bombing forward. So here we are, away at Halifax. Can we get through to the next round? It's going to be a big ass, because they're doing mighty fine. Actually, I didn't look where they are in the league. They are fifth still in the league. And they are putting pressure to go up automatically. So this is going to be a massive game. We're massive underdogs. Whittingham with it. Bradbury now. Back to Wickham. Ball whipped in. Headed away. Staunton to Alpha. Alpha now driving forward. Good tackle, Brookwell. And Kessler's on the ball. Plays it over the top. Hall gets her first. And he scores. Five minutes on the clock. Connor Hall with a goal. It is 11th for the season. A nice ball in by Kane Kessler. Asked the question of the defence. They did not respond. Brookwell with an important tackle there to win the ball back. Yeah, they didn't respond, but Hall make sure they make, oh, well, they pay for it. Goalkeeper doesn't get their first either, and he puts it over him. And we're 1-0 up inside the first five minutes. But they get a chance straight away, and what the hell is the keeper doing there? Alfie Pavey with the header, and the goalkeeper, did he kind of flap it? I'd like to see that in 3D, to be honest. Yeah, Ken... Kenyon puts the ball in, paved with the header, and <laughs> oh, Wemmy, what a what a uh, rash decision there. Rash throw of arms, I don't know. I mean, it's 1-1, one, one. I'm laughing at it, but really it isn't good at all. Erling Staunton on it now. Can we win the ball back, Erling to King? King through to... Some, oh, what a finish by Ungagia. Germany Ungagia with the finish. Goalkeeper, you can't really fault him there. It hits the post, rolls across, and into the back of the net. And, yeah, it's not looking good for us at the moment. 2-1 down. Whittingham now to Zhao. I don't know if I'm pronouncing it right. I don't think I am. Whittingham plays it forward. Bradbury now on it. Feeds it through to Hall. Hall one-on-one. -on -one. Hall, good save by Ratcliffe. And uh, another chance goes begging for us. Alpha plays it back to Kenyon. To Staunton now. Erring. And it's a shot by Ngagia again. It's a good save by the keeper. Oluwemi. Josh. Kenyon whips the corner in. Headed away. Alpha gets their first though. Hmm. We're not looking great at the moment. Not looking great. Ratcliffe playing poor for them. And we're pl to be fair, we're playing well. We're not playing badly. Our ratings anyway. But... Obviously, it's not looking good for us. I'm going to chuck it up to attack. I'm going to up the tempo. Not like that, up it that much. But we'll pass it only slightly more direct. Let's protect the ball a bit better. Because we're not a bad football inside. 
we need to just be a bit sensible with it and it's close to half time it's gonna stay 2-1 we'll get, try and re get the lads to regroup uh, show me something else that second half and hopefully we can inspire these two to perform a bit more I'm not happy with the performance I didn't do anything but okay so Carvalho and Woolerton are not having the greatest of games we've got really no right back unless I put Kessler further forward but we'll leave it how it is for the time being hmm what else can we do because we're not playing too badly as I said a couple of performances could be a bit better time to get a bit more creative hopefully we can spark something it's not looking like it's going to happen so we're going to have to make a couple of changes so Kess is going to go on to the right wing Woodcock will come on drop him back to a full back on support and we'll change you to attack uh, we're going to take Carvalho off for Robson because Robson is a good player but we'll leave Keen Williams on a bit longer because we could always put Bennett on maybe what's Whittingham's crossing it's a 10 Keen's is a 8 and not her sorry Bennett what are you you're an 8 as well so we could put Whittingham further forward because he can do that or do we save it and stick another striker on potentially that could be the way forward we'd go uh, Williams can play centre mid and we'd have to take Kessler off or maybe we could put Woodcock into centre midfield because he can play that as well it's all things we need to consider because we might need to go 4 3 3 to chase this game a bit more as at the moment it's not looking great let's press higher up the pitch out of possession we're going to press higher up the pitch because we've got to ask the question of them now more urgent no, not stand feet, get stuck in, sorry. Press higher up. Uh, maybe not distribute to the flanks as much now. Distribute quickly and counter press more. And maybe not force the play out wide. We'll go much more higher pressing. And let's see what we can do with that for the time being. I might go 4 3 3 in a minute. And it's 15 minutes left on the clock. Nothing's really changed. So. What we're going to have to do is put Brookwell in the middle. He's on a ball winning defence still. That's fine. Uh, we'll put Woodcock into the middle there. And Kessler as a wing back attack again. Williams will, pro will be coming off because he's not having a great game. And we'll put... I'm going to put Hurst on. Yeah, I'm going to put Hurst on. We'll put a poacher roll in there and we'll put Bradbury as the poacher. Hall, we're going to put you as an attackive player now. So that's what we're going to do for the last 15 minutes of the game. We're going to go a bit more direct. Uh, what else can we do? Pass it to space. Uh, hmm. Be more expressive. No, run at defenders, see if we can ask them more questions. And yeah okay we'll try it like that more urgent do we tell him to take long kicks put him under pressure I think that's the best thing we can do can we see the height of you on this screen no not by the looks of it okay hopefully oh, we're going to have to put you on attack as well full back attack we need you getting further forward and putting crosses in okay let's see what we can do we made those changes get creative come on lads all we need is a chance 10 minutes left time is eking away from us here which obviously is not good we're gonna have to go very attacking change it again uh, hit early crosses in we'll try some whipped up deliveries hopefully you can't try and catch them out uh, is there anything else we can do not distribute to the flanks uh, try and get it over the top maybe I don't know tactic or edit even and we'll get these guys playing a bit further high as well uh, wing backs attack yeah that's what we all we can do really is try and get them to do a bit more uh, a woodcock I'm going to put you on attack not automatic I don't know if it will make much difference at all but we can try can't we we can try 5 minutes remaining is there anything else we can do get creative oppositions uh, 
we are we pressing oh no we haven't done this always pressing press all of them and hopefully capitalize on a mistake especially the defend defensive players always 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 come on hopefully we can get it we're two one down you know we already done that get creative there isn't anything else we can do apart from hope one last chance oh we got a chance uh whittingham played down live it's cut headed away can robson get there he can't duckworth over the top and this is what we was hoping wouldn't happen and it's clayden shoots wide that was their chance can we get something whittingham now with a throw what options has he got? Throws in Robson. Gets past his man. Ball across. Bradbury. Shot block. Robson. Ball across. Oh, and it's an equaliser. Come on. 92nd minute. We pull a goal back. Now I need to change it back. We'll still go 4 3 3, but we won't push these guys as far forward. Uh, you can be on fullback attack. You can still stay on winger attack. Uh, can we get another goal potentially? The pressure paid off. We'll, like I said, we'll keep the 4 3 3. Uh, hit the early crosses. Uh, run defence, maybe not. Uh, counter press off. Still trying to distribute over the top. But we'll come back a bit to standard. Because they're going to try and come now at us. So we've got to try and push our defenders hope. Go over the top. We've got the options there. And we'll go more urgent. Take it slightly off. But we're back on level terms. Connor Hall with a goal. Some nice football there, to be fair. Whittingham with the throw to Robson. Robson beats his man. Tries to get across to Bradbury. Comes back to him. Plays it across again. Hall gets away from his defender and for a simple tap-in. And we're back in this game. We'll wait see what happens. Is it going to be a replay? It is going to be a replay. So we'll come back for the replay as well. So... Uh, Let's just quickly sort this out. Hopefully we get some money for just doing this. And we're going to take him back to the Grove. Well done, lads. I am happy with that. A 90-second minute equaliser. I am absolutely buzzing. So, when will that be played? Oh, it's the next game. So, I'll see you in a few days for that game. So, we're here for the FA Cup first round draw. Let's see who we could potentially get in this round. I'd like it to be an easy tie, to be honest, if we can get a lower league side, just so we can get through to the next round. That's what I'd I'd like, but... Uh, like, to be fair, that would have been a nice one, Horsham, but hey-ho. So far, we're not out yet. Oh, I feel like might might have been us then for a second. It, when it pauses, it tends to be that we're about to come out, but it wasn't us. So who will it be? There's a few big things. I wouldn't have minded Portsmouth, but it wasn't them. Charlton's gone. Kitty are uh, looking like they're going to be... Well, I don't know. Kitty are being drawn out, that's all I'll say. So, we're still not being drawn out. Walsall, that would be a nice one. A local side, Walsall. Uh, yeah, it's not them. But it is going to be Tramir Rovers away if we get through. And that would be a, a difficult game, a League 2 side, who you never know, we could, uh, it would be unlikely, surely. Little old uh, Hale's own town against Tramia Rovers. Nah, it wouldn't be that. Good crowd expected though. Uh, average attendance this season for the home games in the FA Cup has been 1,830. It's not bad. Is it going to be excess of that? Oh, they're expecting 2,000. That's not bad at all. So it's the replay. Halifax at home now. Can we get the job done at the Grove? Let's find out. So, a couple of things is that Kenneth Yao is suspended, so he can't play. So, it's going to be Smith who comes in. And also, Harvey Bradbury's picked up an injury. What is the injury? I can't remember, actually. It is a pulled groin. So, he's, he, he won't start today. Luke Hurst will start instead. But he's going to be on the bench because we need... Well, if we need him, we might play him still. So, the lineup for today is Oluwemi in goal, Kessler, Quasi, Smith, and Whittingham, with Woolerton on the right, 
Brookwell and Carvalho in the middle. Mm, actually, you know what? I'm going to start Robson. Take Carvalho out. Uh, Kieran Williams on the left with Hall and Hurst up front. Fingers crossed we can get the job done this time around. So I think there's 2,000 fans here for today's game. Hopefully I can roar us over the line to and get through to the next round. Williams, ball whipped in. Hurst, and it's fair, it's bundled home. Connor Hall, five minutes in, 13th for the season. And we are off to a flyer, says the commentary, which I have to agree with. Williams puts a great ball in. Hurst hits it back across, and Hall reacts quickest to get his head on the end of it. And we're 1-0 up already against Halifax. What a great start. Can we hold on a bit more? I'm not going to say anything. But so far, we've had two shots all on target. I think it was the goal. Three shots now. They've just had the one. So we've restricted them really well so far. But they've got a throw in now. Duckworth on it. Back to Ungaria. Ball whipped in and it's a comfortable catch by Aluemi. And what can we do now? He boots it down the pitch. And it's knocked on by the defender. Straight to Unga Ungaria. Can we win it back? Abby now on it. Clayden. Back to Abbey. Inside to Mayer. Out wide to Kenyon. Can we win that ball back? Earing. Into Mayer. Abbey. Earing. Ball out wide. Kenyon. Ball across. Headed away by Smith. Alpha on it. Has a go off the bar. And Whittacombe's first to react and clear the danger. Which is uh, what we needed to happen, really. And so far, it's going okay. We'll uh, demand more just before half time. <coughs> Sorry about that. And put a bit of pressure on Whittingham, but we're seeing it out so far, which is good. Which is good. I'm happy so far. Uh, don't get complacent out there. I think that's the message I'll say. And calmly, I'm not happy with the performance, and that's fired them all up as well. Hopefully, we can carry it on being the same. I'm thinking I might sacrifice a striker. Williams now. Ball whipped in. Hurst. And it's a penalty. It's a penalty. Hurst wins the penalty. It's Hall our best penalty taker. That's the question. He is. So Hall will take it. Can he put us 2-0 up? Fingers crossed that he can. Hall takes his steps. Runs up. Sends the keeper. The right way. But he's in the bottom corner. He doesn't save it. Hall makes it 2-0. And it looks like we're going to be playing against League 2 opposition. But saying that, there's still plenty of time left, Phil. Don't get too excited. Uh, I'll give the players some praise. We've been very good today. Brookwell with the corner. Ball whipped in, headed away by Clayton. But Smith gets there first. Back to Brookwell. Ball whipped in. Hurst is on it. Can he do anything with it? Ball back across. Robson makes it free. It's 3-0. Free Halifax, who are chasing promotion from the National League... Are 3-0 down to Hales are in town. What a what a start to the second half this is. Oluwemi plays it forward. But they've got the ball back of Halifax. And Gear plays it into Erling. Erling. Earing, even. Got there eventually. Williams now plays it forward. Hall tries to flick it on, but Mayer is on it. And Kenyon plays it forward. Abby now. Kessler wins it back, though. But they win it back again, do Halifax. They're going to be putting pressure on. And gear, good tackle there by Whittingham. And gear again, ball whipped in, headed away, only as far as Abbey. Abbey shoots and finds the back of the net. Jed Abbey pulls a goal back. It's 3 1. And I'm thinking I might need to make a tactical change, which I'll do now. Hmm. If we keep Robson there, drop Brookwell back in, and we will take off Hurst. And have the pressing forward attack in. Hurst will come off for Rowan Ince. And Rowan Ince can also play the ball winning midfield, the defend. And we'll keep Robson on attack and we'll keep those guys on attack as well. But what also... You know what? We'll swap that. Kessler can be on the winger attack role. And we'll put Woodgate, uh, Woodcock on it even. And uh, make him a fullback support. And we'll do that for the time being. Uh, Whittingham to Robson. Across his block, but Ince is on it. So we're trying to crowd out the middle a bit. But Ungear is on it. Plays it over the top. Clayden now, one-on-one. -on -one. 
Good save by Olawemi. And I'm going to do a little bit more tactical cautiousness, I think. And we will... Yeah, we'll look to try and get it out wide still. Uh, lower the tempo. Hmm, do we want to up the tempo? Maybe get on the counter? Possibly. Uh, put time racing on a little bit. Uh, be more disciplined. That's what we need to do. Sorry. That's what we needed. We'll try not to distribute anywhere in particular. We'll still look to counter. Got no issues with that. Uh, I'm going to drop it down the defensive line to lower. And really load the attacking line. So it still gives us lots of positions to go. And we look to distribute over the top defenders as well. So we are going to try and go a bit more route one. Because they need to press us higher. Kenyon. Players into the area. Headed away by Woodcock. Good defending. And it's, yeah, as you can see, it's Hurst up against two of their players. And time's eking away, which is nice. I can, I can deal with this. 15 minutes left to go. And it's still there. We're still wasting this time, which is nice. We've got one sub else we can make. What should we do with it? Okay. Five minutes left. Team instructions. Where is it? That's the one. More time wasting. That's what we'll do. More time wasting. Hopefully we can see it out. We'll make a 90th minute sub. Four minutes left. Who's not having the best game? It's Kessler. We've got another option for the on here. Same Dominic Carvis, but we'll stick Carvalho on. And hopefully that will be that. And it's a job done. No, and it's done. It's done. It's done. Three one. Hales are in town against Halifax. We are through to play Tramier Rovers in the first round proper. I'm very happy with the result and the way you played out there. And we are through to the first round proper of the FA Cup. And we've picked up um, not a 20 grand pretty much. That is fantastic. Yep, we are through. Awesome. What does that do to the finances actually? Last time I saw it was about 100,000 we had. Oh, we've picked up 40 grand. So that is seriously helping us with our uh, finances this run, which is amazing. How did we get on as well for the uh, the attendance? Yeah, 2,200 fans turned up. That is what we needed. 94 travelling away fans as well. 130 for Starbridge. They brought 400 with them as well. <laughs> this isn't too bad. Even though it's like, well, too fair. I'm surprised they didn't bring more. So yeah, we'll be back for the Tranmere game next. Uh, only a few days time, well a few games in between, so yeah, seems like a good one to come back to. So thanks for watching guys, do hope you enjoy it, and I'll see you next time. Cheers. Bye.